Okay, we're doing another final pass here. I'll do another one after this. Uh, pass I just did was half a foul off from the distance. I'm going to force out to help the field out. other direction a little chatter out here definitely chattering out here but okay so we have a little bit of a dip in the middle and the two ends are the same within a half a dial so let's see what we got now so now it looks like we're about 13 and a half blow this up a little bit I'm gonna do it with one hand too much blow up Okay, it's hard to do it one hand, obviously. Okay, what do we got right there? Read it where I'm at. Looks like we're just above 13 or pretty close. Dark over here. How about a little light on the subject? Does that hurt or help? Helps me. Looks like 13. Go way down here. And so we're back up to 14. Thirteen and a half again. Thirteen. I can't see it. Must be. Camera screws up my vision when I'm looking at. Okay, so we got a little bit of a dip in it, which isn't going away. So that's the lathe is going like this. I'm guessing. All right, let's get a where I can actually read it. Twelve eight down there, down here. Fourteen eight. Now we got two thou. We had a half a thou before, and this one's at twelve. That was thirteen. Excuse me. Twelve eight here. Thirteen there, that's about four inches over. That's fourteen and a quarter. Fourteen and a half. So the last four inches changes a bunch from the first four inches. Okay, now I'm gonna take a two thou pass coming out, and we'll see what we get this time. That time I think it was a pretty much even on both sides. Alright, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Cutting anything. Yeah, 
a couple tall hoodies, so that's good. smooth finish. Okay, let's see what I got now. Uh, looks like we're 12 and 3 tenths maybe. Oop. 12. 11, 9 maybe. That was over about two and a half inches. 12, 1 maybe, and then we start climbing. There's 12, 5, 12, 6, 7, 12, 8 at least, and we're at 13 at the very end. Okay, so from here to here, we're pretty well, from about here on over here, so you have about four and a half, five inches, we're pretty damn close. Then it starts to last four inches here, three inches, it starts really going uphill. And that's probably where, because it's pushing, it's pushing away from the bit because we're way out here and it's not really, this truck's not really working good right now. Yeah, we're losing dimension, we're losing distance, or cutting, so. Let's see, we're just over 12 down here. Yeah, it's about 12 and a quarter. 12.1. One slid to the stop right there. Twelve and a half. Thirteen. Twelve eight. And thirteen right to chatter. And across the chatter it's gonna be screwed. Yeah, fifteen, because it makes it actually makes the metal taller. It's like knurling. Alright, so that's pretty damn close on that. So I'm done for the night. It's like one o'clock, I think. Been dicking around with the thing for hours trying to get it square. Uh, oh, it's only 12:30. I've been going back and forth on the head, playing with it. And so the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to bring my center in here. I'm gonna put a center drill hole in here, then bring this in and see if I can get it close. The problem is gonna knock this off center when I do that. I bet. Now let's see how far off out of round it is, because it was out of round. It's been cutting out of round when we do this. Distance on that. Okay, pretty good. Down here, three, four tenths out around. Yeah, Get the chuck. Okay. The big thing is how much tape we got going this way. So we're at zero. Just under zero. Get the thing to kind of stabilize a little bit. Okay, there's just under zero. It's half down, holding about a half, coming back up to zero. And we're just about going off the edge. Okay, so at least now the indicator is actually following what we're cutting for once. So that's a big plus. So we got it dialed in pretty close to that. Now one problem I'm having, every time I touch this thing it goes out around. Now this is a two-piece chuck and I'm not sure where the splitting part is. I think it's right in here. And these screws right, you got four screws. They push 180 against each other. So you got one here, one here, and one up 90 degrees. So 90 degrees apart. 
and you fight those back and forth to square up your chuck to make it run true. The problem is if, if it comes off the backing plate and it starts wobbling like this, and when I'm hitting all the hammer, I think I'm knocking it out of true a little bit. That's why my part's going super out of whack. So I need to loosen these all up, shove this thing back in here, and then square it back up without cutting this, without moving this at all. And I'll come back and recenter it up off of what I just cut. Because that's accurate to what the jaws is, because the jaws haven't moved any. And I'll see if this gets recentered up better. And this might go in a big wobble out here, I don't know. And I'm thinking this is screwing with me, so I'm going to play with that tomorrow first thing. Right, so everything I touch here, it's screwing with me. So, and that's all. Well, anyway, I got it pretty close, so that's that's a plus. Like I said, I got to get the center re squared back in this way, and then. I get that done, I'll be happy. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Big job. All right. This will be like day four or five on fixing this lathe. Things are not easy to get dialed in. All right. That's it for tonight.